Valve's been working on Steam Machines for quite a while now, but it looks like they've actually been working on another project at the same time. Just today, HTC and Valve unveiled a new virtual reality headset called the Vive that'll actually be out for real by the end of this year. So unlike other VR headsets, which have surfaced as early prototypes with the developer version off in the horizon, the HTC Vive is virtually done. There is still a developer kit on the way this spring, but HTC and Valve are claiming that the real one will be coming out before the year's end. What's more, Valve and HTC do seem to have figured out the controller problem. The Vive comes with a motion tracking system that can cover an entire room, along with a pair of wireless VR controllers that HTC claims are simple and intuitive. The end result is that the HTC Vive and Steam VR are intended to be a far more holodecky experience than the Rift, which Oculus has stressed on multiple occasions is a sit-down device. HTC and Valve want you to get up and walk around, it's actually intended to be a part of the experience. The headset itself though isn't wireless, which could be a bit of a problem. Now no definite timetable or pricing has yet been released for the HTC Vive, but it does look like it'll be a pretty cool experience when it does release. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how it compares to things like the Oculus Rift, or Sony's Morpheus, or even Microsoft HoloLens, which is more of an AR headset, because all of these have shown up as prototypes, but no one has actually put one of these things out. The Valve and HTC Vive could be a pretty big deal, since it's going to be probably pretty heavily linked with PC gaming, and it's going to have a lot of titles on it. But give me your opinions on the HTC Vive in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.